my room may look nice and neat from this angle, but the truth is I actually just moved all of my clothes to the bed and my bed isn't even made. Hello everyone. My name is Lucia and welcome to my little corner of YouTube. I'm a 16 year old autistic girl with a heavy interest in old movies, books, and writing. And I am going to be answering the questions on the booktube newbie tag because I want to start reviewing and analyzing books and you know what? This would be a good way to let people know what my channel's mainly going to be about. So, without further ado, let's answer the questions for the booktube newbie tag. I started this channel for the simple reason that I have a lot of strong feelings about books. I love reading, and I think there's a lot to unpack and discuss when it comes to a lot of the books I read, or a lot of the books I gravitate towards. And I was inspired by other booktubers or other people reviewing books, and I thought, hey, this looks really cool. These people are discussing and reviewing books, and their thoughts are reaching a wider audience. And you know what? That's something that I want to do. So, that's why I'm here, and that's why I started this channel. One new thing I can bring to the table is book analysis. I've noticed that 99% of booktube consists of book reviews, which isn't a bad thing. There are plenty of booktubers out there who make very well-made review videos, and I think that's important. That being said, there's not really a lot of analysis of books beyond what people think of them. And while I definitely think people are entitled to their opinions and are entitled to post about said opinions, especially in regards to literature and books, I think that we can go deeper and analyze books beyond that, especially from the perspective of someone like me who's really interested in literary analysis and literary theory. <laughs> I love reading because, well, I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess there are multiple reasons. I suppose part of it may be that books are an example of the fact that everyone has a story in them. And I suppose another reason is that it's kind of incredible how books can just evoke so many emotions. I don't really have a lot to say for this one. This is going to give me an existential crisis. But anyways, I think the important thing to know is I do love reading and that's part of why I started this channel. There are two books in particular that got me into reading. One that just started my life as a bookworm and the other which made me fall in love with reading all over again. The first book would be my personal first book I ever read, which is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's just a really fun, charming book with really nice illustrations and also I think I tried to eat the book, although I was a toddler, so. The second book that got me into reading, or rather made me fall in love with reading again, was John Steinbeck's East of Eden. I started to fizzle out about reading in around eighth grade and would read books sporadically here and there and read required stuff, but mm, I didn't really read books for a while. And then earlier this year, I picked up a copy of John Steinbeck's East of Eden and oh, I'm going to have to make an entire video where I just gush about this wonderful, wonderful book that holds so much importance to me but that is a tale for another day. What is a book that made you think even long after you read it? Because I need books like that. I need books that keep me up at night thinking about them. And I've read some of those books and I just wanna know what books did that to you. Okay, I'm sorry if that came off as a little creepy or invasive. My sincerest apologies. But let's move on to the next question. I think the 
one of the challenges I'll have to end up facing is figuring out a way to appeal to people on booktube because the thing about booktube is I'm probably not going to talk about a lot of the really popular books that a lot of other booktubers seem to review. And this isn't in an unflattering, I'm not like other girls kind of way. This is just, I have a niche because I hyper fixate on this niche. I want to talk about it. And I don't know if it's going to appeal to other people. So I think finding a way to find people who love talking about the things I love talking about, especially in regards to books, is going to be a bit of a challenge. But you know what? I think I'll be able to manage it. I am confident about this. I think I will be able to do it. I started reading when I was a wee tot, and my first book was the aforementioned The Very Hungry Caterpillar by... Darn it, I can't remember the author's name. Although I think my trying to eat the book was foreshadowing for both my voracious appetite regarding books and also just food in general. And then Lucia ate the book, but she was still hungry. <laughs> I usually just end up reading in my room or if I'm at a party and I don't want to talk to anyone because it's so loud, I usually just drag myself into a spare bedroom or bathroom and read whatever book I have on hand there. I usually prefer quiet environments because it's harder for me to focus on my book when it's quite noisy. So in my room, on the futon or bed is my ideal location to read a book. I'm not particularly picky about what genres I like when it comes to books, although I have been reading a lot of classic literature lately. I love that there's so much to unpack. I also happen to really like gothic horror and historical fiction, as well as plays, although I don't think those are a genre. Oh, and before I forget, I also happen to be dipping my toes into fantasy because I kind of had a really short but passionate fantasy phase in middle school, and seeing as how I want to broaden my horizons and not just confine myself to one or two genres, I've decided I'm going to try out looking at fantasy again. So, hence I'm reading it. I don't think saying so hence is grammatically correct, but you know what? This video took long enough to film, so I'm keeping it in anyways. Well, that was it for my booktube newbie tag. I hope to see you all in the next video, and I hope to leave my mark on the booktube community. Thank you all so much for watching this, and I hope that you have a lovely day. And if that's not the case, I hope tomorrow is better. Goodbye!